as more and more of business and society goes digital, governments cannot be left behind. Digitalizing government services is not simply about creating websites and online forms. Rather, the entire process of storing and handling the data of citizens will need to be revolutionized. At the very forefront of the move towards e-government is Estonia, and the transition to digital services was instigated and guided by engineer and former chief information officer of the Estonian government, Tavi Kotka. Top Magazine met Tavi and asked him about his vision for e-government. It's not so much like what is the vision of e-government, it's more like uh, how people will use uh, government services. And uh, there will be a competition be between governments uh, as it is in all other industries. And there will be a huge disruption in, 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 in governments and people will start choosing like uh, which one they like more. So uh, we, we will see more and more of those virtual citizenship or e-residency type of things happening uh, in, in the years coming. Governments provide a certain ecosystem and people want to buy the services from the ecosystems which are less bureaucratic, hassle-free. Uh, for example, if you run a company, there's a huge difference if the cost of the running company is 5,000 euros per year or 1,000 euros per year. Right? So people will start demanding like uh, cheap, efficient, hassle-free services from the governments. And the ones who are actually able to provide the services better, they will be the winners. And the ones who are not doing so great, they lag behind. In the virtual world, national borders and geographical location reduce in significance. Kotka believes that governments can gain a competitive advantage and attract businesses through well-designed e-government services. To achieve this, Estonia has pioneered the concept of e-residency. But e-residency is a first attempt uh, to compete with other countries to get like best talented people connected with our economy. So basically it's a program that lets uh, foreign people uh, to connect uh, location independently with the Estonian ecosystem uh, using digital services, digital tools and uh, in return we, we provide them hassle-free uh, business environment if they want to choose that. Uh, they have to, I mean, they have to know that uh, as everything is digital, everything is leaves really traces. And for example, if like German tax and custom uh, ask this information out from Estonia, this information will be given out to, to German tax and custom. So you can't cheat uh, that system, but it will be definitely cheaper. What is actually for them in Germany at the moment? Like. E-government is often cited as a major driver for blockchain technology. So how can blockchain be applied to create better services for citizens? A blockchain solves a very important uh, topic that has been used as an excuse by the government like, not to do anything. Like, so and that excuse is that uh, like, we have to protect the privacy and, and data, which is absolutely true. You have to do that. There are other technologies how you can do that, but uh, Blockchain basically now removes that excuse. So, uh, so there is a technology that is known to the people uh, more and more every day uh, that they understand that if government would solve their, like, I'll say, data gathering and data usage, uh, like, like in a way where every, everybody can see how it was used and why, and then guarantee that, like, the privacy and and, and data security is is protected, I mean, uh, like, basically it's removed the excuse. So now you can start actually doing stuff like in Germany. Uh, definitely increases the knowledge uh, how you can, I mean, it's not about the knowledge, it's actually how you solve certain problems. For example, I mean, like, uh, do you agree that uh, if a doctor can see information, uh, like a whole medical history, uh, he or she could treat you better? instead of just having information what, what they have about you in that particular hospital. Right, okay. But what this means that this information needs to be carried, like, uh, let's say, you have to pull it like, from other systems, like you have to like, gather it and then you can like, have it like, as, as one, one big thing, uh, which is, might be a privacy concern. Like, so, so and, and, and now it's a question, like, how can you solve this uh, issue? I mean, uh, in one hand you want to show this information to the doctor. Another thing, you want to be sure that nobody else is actually looking at, at, at your data. So Nordic countries 
um, uh, I mean, have solved it uh, quite, uh, I'll say, uh, in, in a beautiful way. <laughs> but uh, uh, you also can solve this question using blockchain. I mean, uh, having actually giving you a control over your data, that, that's the secret. So the blockchain gives, I'll say, new ways how to solve the problems that has been seen as unsolvable before, especially here in Germany. But as more critical national data goes online, ensuring its continued availability in all circumstances also becomes a responsibility for governments. Estonia has taken on this challenge in the form of data embassies. The simple answer is like if you can imagine a huge data center, and in that data center there is an iron gauge, uh, and that, that gauge is full of computers. And uh, now you imagine that that gauge and those computers have diplomatic immunity, so nobody can touch it. Like it's like it's like Estonian soil in some other country, uh, in some another country, um, like physical or virtual uh, cloud. And uh, so we created the concept to have uh, external computing power outside of our own country, uh, just to be, I'll say, uh, from the digital continuity perspective, to be sure that nothing happens with the uh, data or like uh, or we are able to run our applications even if something happens with our physical servers in, in Estonia. In short, governments need to catch up on the road to transforming society and the economy. Estonia provides a model for achieving this and blockchain offers the transparency and security for making it a success.